I just woke up and thought, wow, wouldn't it be a great day to do a 24 hour vending machine challenge? Which means that I'm going to be surviving off of only vending machine foods and drinks for the next 24 hours. Nothing else allowed, not even tap water. But I have three rules. The first one is, I can only use one vending machine once for one item. This is just to stop me from coming to the same vending machine like that's next to my apartment like all the time. But right now I'm between a huge choice. Do I take water to hydrate myself because it's the first drink of the day? <laughs> or do I take coffee? Because, uh, you know, I, I really want coffee. <laughs> I went with a latte, which means it has less coffee and more uh, water or milky substance. So, you know, I should be good on the hydration part. So honestly, the question isn't about, can you survive 24 hours on vending machines? I mean, it would be very easy, but this is more about seeing how well you can do or how easy it is to find stuff. And for me, it's a neat way of exploring around. All right, I messed up. I thought this was uh, caffeine, you know, latte, cafe latte. It's, it's actually just caramel milk. I wondered why it was so sweet and uh, uh, kind of yicky. So my first drink ruined and I can't even go to the vending machine again. It's 12 a.m. and I am checking for apartments because I still haven't found one. It is honestly getting kind of nerve-wracking because we keep getting uh, rejected because we are tourists with a working holiday visa and not local. But I still haven't had any water today. So only 100 yen. I know there's a thing called carb loading, which is where you just eat a lot in advance of something uh, physically excessive. But what about water loading? Because rule number two is that anything I buy from a vending machine has to be consumed within 30 minutes. The idea behind it is that I just wouldn't go through five vending machines at one time, buy like a ton of water or uh, drinkable stuff, and then just go home and not have to visit more vending machines for the day. But let's do some research, because I don't know any food vending machines. I haven't seen a single one. What is this? 24-7 vending machines. <laughs> Closed. Wow. Kato. Neko. Oh my god. I can get an actual food and a snack. What are we in the mood for? I don't think I'm gonna trust uh, chicken from a vending machine. Maybe, I don't know. I think the best option would be pizza. That's just the simplest. Or, well, I'm not gonna drink. <laughs> I have this, that just looks like a mystery soup to me. Uh oh, wait, what did I just press? What did I just press? Oh, fuck. I wonder if it asked me if I should heat this up or not. It probably did, didn't it? 30 minutes on the clock right now. Seventeen minutes left to understand how the... Oops. This is not pizza. This is deflated lasagna. Or egg. I have been searching for specific food vending machines for half an hour just through Google Street View. Does anybody know if there's like a specific map or like a web page to see all vending machines? Oh, there's a website for unusual unique vending machines. There's like tons of them. But where are these? Oh, found in Takadanar Bobaba, in front of the Circus Izakaya. Okay, understandable. Let's go to alcohol, found in several locations around Tokyo. Haha, <laughs> haha. <laughs> Also, Estonian Song Competition happened yesterday, but that was 4am Japanese time, so we're really watching it today. These guys are my favorite. This is to decide who goes to Eurovision. Alright, lunch break. Let's try to find a vending ma- Shit, these really are everywhere. This is so hot, but am I getting any calories from this? Zero. I thought I'd be able to get at least some sort of um, sugar dose, you know, some energy. If I don't get my daily coffee, I will get intense headaches. And no, it is, well, okay, actually it is cold addiction. But the first step is acknowledging that you have an addiction. The second step is accepting it. That's my two-step plan towards addiction. There's no other step. 
So this is the second half of the show, where we actually see who won. And my favorites won! It's Fun Minus and Fulu! Oh my god, we're going to Eurovision! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, it's dinner time. And I don't know if I said it already, but rule number three, I can't have the same thing twice, just so I would have to try different things. But I don't think that's going to be an issue, because uh, this far everything's been different anyways. Yeah, this is where I messed up last time. I pressed this, but this gives you the frozen food. Wait, what? This means buy, return, add to cart. So maybe it doesn't heat it up? You got, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? This is five steps to complete it. Alright, Google Maps took us to Hypermedia Men's Relaxation Space. But this is not the right place. Wahoo! Dinner! But before moving on, let's have a little snack in the form of Mökbyg. There's not a lot of places that sell food in the vending machines apparently. This was one of the closest ones. And these like are edible right away. Should I go for a scorpion? Crickets? Or how about something a bit more special? Am I supposed to smoke it? This looks like a cigar. So this is silkworm sausage. All right, this is just a weight. This is very heavy metal, probably lead. Close up, close up. Hell yeah. I know I should get this off. So the package just said something about 120 degrees. Hopefully it doesn't mean you have to cook it 120 degrees for four minutes. It's pretty much foie gras with a fishy taste. If I didn't know what this was, I'd probably eat more of it. Or maybe not, I actually don't know. Yeah, this is 9.8 calories. Wow. As a salary man myself, I like to have some fun after the job is done. Which, okay, never mind, that's, that's a complete lie. Either way, let's get some alcohol. I took a taxi and drove 20 minutes to go to the liquor shop. A vending machine for alcohol. Now I only got one chance at this, so what are we going for? God, I love this meme so much. You know, I'm, I've had strong zero and that's gonna be a video soon because we did hit the light goal. So I'm gonna try every strong zero out. But for now, let us go with the rich. Uno hundred. Oh hell yes, six percent. Six percent for beer? Damn, that's strong. Haven't uh, drank enough liquids today, so this is one way of catching up with uh, my bodily intake. You know, they they always talk about eating the rich, but <laughs> never drinking the rich. <laughs> now I know why, because they're too gassed up. Man, it's, I'm, I'm gonna be gassy as well later. We're approaching the final target for today. Never mind, that's not it. This is, uh, this is just Coca-Cola. That is it. We're approaching the final target for today. Apparently, this is a meat vending machine. But the catch here is, it's a gotcha. So you're putting in like 2,000 yen, but you don't know what piece you're getting. I read the reviews and some people got like 9,000 yen worth of meat. Also, 2,000 yen is not a cheap amount. <gasps> Wagyu, you can win Wagyu beef. Come on, come on. This looks, whoa, this actually, holy shit, this is mar very nicely marbleized. Seasoned Wagyu beef, short ribs, domestic pork fatty miso sauce. So I did get like a premium grade one and just a normal one. 3,000 yen worth of meat for 2,000 yen. I'm counting it as a win. Look at this marbleization. Yeehaw. Sports. I don't know how to do this. I'm just gonna try to emulate the pictures and that's about it. Bag of burro. And I messed it up pretty much instantly. As you're not supposed to cut the bag open, but put the entire right. bag in a pot of water to heat it up. No, no. Why are you saying no, Dreaming? Can you dance for me? Wait, give me a sec. I'm making content. That's the best I can do. I just wanted to eat ramen on the go. I didn't want to make my own. This is so expensive. This is 1000 yen. I go to a ramen shop. It costs like 800 yen to get a well done ramen made by like some ramen professional who's like done it for 70 years of his life. And now you're putting all the burden on me. Frozen noodles. Mm. I thought this was going to be like instant ramen where it's already cooked. 
This is just dough. Which is kind of cool. That means it's going to be good and fresh. Also, I have dough in my tea. This is a lot of garlic. Also, I feel like I should have put the meat in before because it's kind of frozen. It's very cold. It's, um, let's say al dente. It's classical Italian al dente um, <laughs> noodles. Foxy, what is your rating on a scale of 1 to 10? A strong 4 out of 10. <laughs> strong 4 out of 10, I got the response to. Alright, let's get to the wagyu part. Three slices. That's all I got. Wagyu. Holy fuck. <laughs> Damn. Now she's in I didn't think I could make meat this good, holy <laughs> shit. Usually, if a meat is fatty in Europe, that means you'll be chewing that for 10 minutes straight. But Wagyu, it melts in your mouth. So as you can see, it is 30 minutes until midnight. I, I still got a bit of editing to go. Currently, the runtime is three hours. And what I usually like to do at night during editing, when I, you know, edit my daily vlogs, is have a nice cup of hot chocolate. But I can't. So this is going to be my final vending machine for the day, for the night, because uh, 24 hour is up in like, I want to say 10 hours. And you know, since I'm going to be sleeping for the most part of it, I'm not going to drink or eat anymore. All right, maybe I can't get hot chocolate, but milk tea is, you know, close enough. Let's go. Question is, did we reach 1000 calories? Okay, that's, it has 37 calories. I'll be honest, I didn't really finish <laughs> all the noodles, because not because I didn't like it. Okay, it was because I didn't like them. I really messed it up. But, you know, live and learn. Either way, I think that's, that's about it for today. Uh, almost had 1000 calories. Hope to see you in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, Mudan, peace out. Would you eat guy this? Wait, wait, is that doxing?